So here we've got the robot milker actually in action. There's a, a small proportion of um, pus and blood that's allowed within the, the milk. Um, so it's pretty standard. Uh, so this, this young chap is um, unfortunately an unwanted byproduct of the dairy industry. You can see he's, he's suckling on my fingers at the minute. Um, on some farms they, they shoot the male calves uh, at about a day old or shortly after birth. Um, he, he'll be uh, raised for veal or maybe low grade beef. He's been taken from his mother. His mother's literally just 50, 100 yards away. Um, but he's been put in this pen here, um, really, so that we can we can have his his, his mother's milk. It's weird, isn't it? Her story is, is just as sad as the male calves, um, in that she's been separated from her mother a few days old, and she will she will live her life. She will be repeatedly impregnated year after year and have her children taken away from her so humans can drink her milk until, until her body's just exhausted and she will go to slaughter. It's, it's just heartbreaking looking at her knowing that that's what, that's what her life's going to be. So you'll notice this predominantly white cow here. Um, the, the ribs sticking out, and the, the, the spine, how emaciated the cow is. Now you can just imagine if you looked in your neighbour's garden and saw the, the dog, or the cat, or if you were walking past the field and you saw a horse like that, you'd, um, you'd be onto the RSPCA immediately to report this. What's really bizarre is that we're the only species that drinks the milk of another species and continues to drink milk into adulthood. It's, it's weird, it's unnatural. Uh, milk is designed for a calf to turn a 50 pound calf into a 300 pound cow in six months. So if, if that's your aim, then you go for it, but I'm, I'm never consuming dairy again. So this is your high welfare uh, cow's milk. There are other options like um, oat milk, soya milk, um, almond milk, rice milk. You know, we don't have to put animals through this. 